already got it fired up. About to say, get that thing in the water. It don't take very long to tear up the water pump. We're gonna pan over here to lane seven while we're at it. Oh, they are in deep. Golly, they're deep. Morning, how are y'all? Yeah. What a fun thing to do. Oh yeah, it's a good time. That's right. <laughs> Look at the, the sportsman here, got a little pup on board. Those sportsmen, I mean, they are a beautiful boat for production level. Spill it. Ooh, that truck is deep. The bumper's almost in the water. Why? Why? Oh my gosh. There's no, there's no point. I mean, I get it, but it's like, man, as bad as salt water is on stuff, we duck on a lot. And I literally take shotgun out of the case, hunt with it for an hour and a half on the bay here and put it back in my case. And by the time I get home, it's already starting to rust. If I leave it in there 24 hours with just the salt air residue on there, it is so rusted, it's just insane. Ooh, contender up front, and then we've got a big one in the back. Looks like an Everglades. Y'all hear that V10 fire up? Son. He's trying to back down, but I, I bet he still has it strapped up in the front. Maybe not. He was on it for a while. Whoa. guy doing <laughs> easy brother what's going on brother how you doing yeah good to meet you man I'm Daniel. I love it love good, the show good to meet you I appreciate it buddy have a good, good day for video. oh yeah y'all have a good day be safe Yeah, I am. Man, I was telling my buddy about you on the way here. <laughs> Me and my son watch your videos nice. all the time. We I, love the content. I appreciate it. Pleasure Keep to meet you. Man. What was your name? Andrew. Good to meet you, Andrew. Nice you. Yes, sir. You too. That's two people in like 15 seconds right there that have took the time out of their morning on the water to come say hello. I appreciate that. I've got some haters, man. There's some serious haters. The guy this morning was comment on one of my videos, F-A-F-O you know f around and find out he got pissed off because i posted a video of him on his sea dude last week or a week and a half ago and he was he, he he didn't even have it deep enough in the water he fires this thing up water spraying all over the place he's snatching backwards i'm like go ahead brother rip the handlebars off he got all bent out of shape i said i was filming him without his consent it's against the law which is not true there you got your first amendment right your second amendment you got all these different rights that you know we're losing our rights day by day we're losing our rights but one thing that we still have is the first amendment right okay freedom of speech and uh we can film people and say what we want without their consent as long as you're in a public space so i try to be respectful of every situation if i clown on you like take it with a grain of salt like you're tripping over somebody filming you like what 
dude, you're you're on camera a hundred times a day. You were on camera 50 times before you even got here. If you went to the gas station, they got five, six cameras on you. If 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 somebody's getting tased by the police, there's three, four people filming that. You got red light cameras, you got freaking speeding cameras, you got safety cameras. Like it's another camera. If I'm giving a commentary, most of the time I'm making fun of the situation, not the person. So chill out smile a little bit live a little bit don't all right check him out lane one dock lines going out let's get this baby in the water and see what the party's all about hey and, and, and look i want to point something out one more time all right this is not the place to get your gear ready to unstrap stuff to put fishing poles and coolers in the boat that right over there is your staging area that right over there is your staging area you've got two boats two trucks two trailers right here waiting for the ramp to clear up and you've got people like come on bring the beer cooler down here and you got these people like putting on their fenders and any which way enough of the the bs talk let's uh let's just enjoy the show that's just another educational moment for you so that brings me back to my original point. Thanks for saying hello. If you see me out here, come say hello. I enjoy it. Got the old pontoon coming in. Oh boy, he's coming in a little crooked. Oh, Captain. I like to call the old pontoon the, uh, <laughs> never mind. Go ahead and send the drone out there after them. We still got people getting ready right here while there's boats waiting, which is insanity. Got her going in a little crooked down here on lane nine, boys. Check them out right here. So many people that I got on video right last there. week, I don't remember. He's good though, you don't have to videotape him because he knows how to. He knows I think how to I, were y'all here too? Like, well, he was and my daughter was, gotcha, but gotcha. I wasn't. Gotcha. But the girl that was waving, she was like, I want to be on your video. That's oh, okay. my next door neighbor. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, nice. 
my husband pulled up and he's like, all right, man's here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm usually not here in the morning time. Yeah. I usually come in the afternoons because everybody's like, yeah, really good. yeah. <laughs> so that's when it's happening, but I'm fun gonna hall. try it out in the morning. So go have fun. Okay. Yep, have a good one. Good. good yeah, good meeting you. sit here and watch them but it's all the actions happening right here we I mean it is a fiasco but let's get back to the double wide of the seas here what's going on can we get this done Well, they've got it straight, boys. They're going to go too deep with the. Oh boy, they're in the water. The SUV is in the water. Are we going to get a bloop, bloop, bloop? Tell me they've disconnected it. They, they, they've had to have disconnected it. guys love the drone cam we wanted something that could really set us apart from other channels on YouTube and uh, the drone has been a great addition for us uh, it's a lot of fun we've been able to get a lot of different angles that people usually wouldn't see Has this guy got his windlass down World. fun day on the sandbar golly these people flying through here with no courtesy look at the look at the wake that's being put off in here they just easing on through here like it ain't no big deal it may not be a posted no wake zone but i think it's a courtesy thing more than anything to be honest with you guys
I forgot to put gas in it. <laughs> Not like that. Oh man. Huh? Is that you on the drive? Yeah. <laughs> what happened? be interesting to see get in right here look at that if they can do it under no power without tearing the boat up folks you can too Oh my gosh, boys, we got another tow happening. What is this, the freaking day of breakdowns? four got one coming in on three what in the heck is going on we got one drifting sideways in front of somebody else <laughs> just run right through here it's all good come flying through here like that it ain't good for nobody we're gonna get another try here in seven Lane seven, can they get it on the second attempt? And that's gonna be a no. Third time's a charm. See, it's hard for me to make fun of people these days because I'm becoming friends with everybody here at the ramp and all the ramps. Everywhere I go, big dude, like I got some fans, like some people love me. So I, I don't want to piss anybody off. But if he don't nail it here, I'm, I'm going to give him a grade now. I'm going to give him a grade. Oof, slams into the bow stop. He's probably gonna pull back because it, it, that noise would have scared me. Oh my gosh, that freaking boat right there is so sexy. <laughs> I think it was 
sick. Getting good video. Slow and steady. Watching this online. It'll be there. It's gonna be like all over. The Big Dan Show. Huh? The Big Dan Show. Big Dan's back at it again. We got a, a follower over there. All right, we got some people making the turn. That regulator again. We've seen them here before. Wait, that, okay, somehow with all that commotion right there, they backed out and they're retrying. I don't I don't miss something. Boys, they're they're struggling hard. I'm fixing to give them a A minus for effort and a D plus for execution. Oh, oh they're real deep. Something just fell off the trailer on the starboard side. Their pipe, I think they went so deep it literally floated off. Because you know it's got the floaties on it. The pipe literally floated up and off. Right there. That's probably where they needed to be from the get-go. Look at the Regal. Got the bow thruster going. You hear it over there. All right, back to lane seven. We got to get this one on the trailer, guys. We've got to get this one on the trailer. told him to. Alright guys. I think we're on try number five here. I'm gonna have to speed this one up. Everybody's got to learn. I ain't making fun of him. I'm just making fun of this. I'm not even making fun of the situation. I'm just like, he's learning. Turn the starboard and back down. We'll pull that bow over to the left. Well, boys, they finally got it.
missed it. Alright, so they were getting a tow a little while ago. And now they're going to try it again. I don't know what they did other than bring a bunch of bags and stuff onto the boat. But they're going back underway. <laughs> Our captain here in the express, I think that's what that is. check him out one more time on lane six oh my gosh and he's missed it again Got it. So I say my guy over here is like, this is such a sick boat. I don't even know what it is. It's a Buskins 29. 29 foot Buskins. <laughs> 